Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be looking at the personality trait of openness to experience, to understand it and see how it can actually potentially help us be more creative and more successful in our creative project. So, my name is Deanna Faye. For those of you who are new, I'm an independent artist from Canada. I write songs, I write music, and I also like to talk about music, the creative process, and especially the songwriting process here on my channel. So please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you like, take a look at the links below so you can support me either by listening to my music, buying it, or you can listen on any streaming platform, including here on YouTube. Okay, so does the trait of being open to experiences make us more creative? That is my question for today. So what is openness to experience to begin with? Openness to experience is a concept used in psychology to understand personality traits, typically used in the big five personality traits, but it's also been used in other formats of looking at personalities. And openness to experience is a concept in psychology which refers to how much a person seeks out and values different experiences that are new, such as aesthetic experiences, intellectual curiosity, new knowledge, seeking out new art and music, for example, and appreciating unconventional ideas. People who have a high openness to new experiences may have traits such as being adventurous, artistic, imaginative, curious, knowledgeable, and creative. So in contrast, a person who could be described as low on openness to experience may seem very self-constrained, obedient, they may lack creativity. A person with openness to experience as a dominant trait may also be described as artistic, even prone to fantasy. So while openness to experience might not actually cause someone to be creative directly, it could serve as a starting point or a catalyst for someone to become creative later because they're more likely to seek out new experiences, creative activities, or just activities that are novel in general. Having this tr personality trait may actually predispose you to thinking creatively, or in other words, to think of new ideas and to act on them. So if we look at creativity from that lens, openness to experience may help be a starting point for someone to become creative. Interestingly, a study done on the Big Five personality traits done in 1996 on students showed that having high creativity, specifically verbal creativity, did not actually translate into having creative success. But those who had openness to experience as a high as a dominant trait actually increased the likelihood of the individuals achieving creative success. So openness to experience may act kind of like a tool or a moderator for those with creative traits to, well, actually be able to create. So this kind of makes me wonder about the way our environments might be teaching us to be either more or less open to experiences and how this might have an effect on our creativity or our creative success as adults looking to, well, create things. Looking at my own childhood, I was very, I would say I was very high in openness to experience. If you ask anyone in my family, I was very adventurous. I like to explore, you know, I was the kind of kid that would go out on my own, even though I was way too young, just to explore the neighborhood and, you know, get into all kinds of trouble. But as I went to school, you know, and as I had different life experiences that shaped me, I think I became a little less open to experience. You know, school teaches being obedient. It does teach self-constraint and it doesn't necessarily teach creativity. You might be lucky and to have had a teacher or a school or a family system that really uh, taught and valued creativity and openness to experiences and I think that's something that although some things changed me 
my family itself was, I think, very high in openness to experience. And you could see this because my family liked to explore. And this is a trait that I have kept with me and really valued and tried to, you know, reintroduce into my life intentionally. So looking at music, we can actually see that having openness to experience, high openness to experience actually plays a huge effect on the type of music a person will prefer listening to. And those with high openness to experience actually prefer more eclectic, complex music. For example, jazz, blues, classical, even metal, eclectic music, folk, experimental sounds. And this is very interesting. So what does this mean for us as artists, as creative types, as those looking to make art, whether it's music or otherwise? Well, does it mean that if we can increase our openness to experience, we may actually be able to improve our creative success? I think so. And you're probably wondering if it is even possible to improve something that such as your personality traits, not improve per se, but to change, adapt. And I think, yes, it is possible to develop more openness to experience. While it may seem difficult, it is possible. So we're going to look at some of the ways, we're going to look at some of the ways that you could increase your openness to experience and actually improve your creative abilities as well as your creative success. So. One thing that I suggest is to follow your curiosity. If you're curious about something, it doesn't matter what it is. Obviously, do not, uh, the curiosity did kill the cat, so, you know, be reasonable, but follow your curiosity. If you are curious about a certain topic or a certain place, or just to try something that you've never done before, do it. You know, there's no harm in trying. Practice trying new things and explore a variety of activities. Try new art, new music, try new ideas. Make mistakes, this is a big one. Don't be afraid to do things out of the ordinary that you normally don't do. And part of that will be making mistakes and making risks. And do activities for the sake of the experience rather than for another purpose. Like taking pictures or, you know, trying to be perfect at it, just experience the moment. Another thing you can do is trying new foods, drinks, even grocery stores or cafes, or even the pathways or paths you take for your normal walks. Try a different one. Mix up your routine if you normally wake up late and rush to your to the start of your day. Wake up early, take it slow, do something different than you normally would do, move your body, these kinds of things. These can help you to improve, increase your openness to experiences. And you'd be surprised at the changes this can have on not just your creativity, but your mood, which ultimately will be improving your creativity. While openness to experience may not be the only trait that determines creativity, in fact, it might not necessarily cause it, it may be an important factor in our ability to actually create, to produce art, to innovate, to actually be successful with our creativity. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helps you and see you next time. Keep creating. Mm -hmm.